Hello, this is Rhonda Green, and we're going to gloss over how to apply for an employer identification number on the irs.gov website for your local candidate campaign. All right, political finance is what this is. So we are on irs.gov, and this is what it looks like. The specific page is right here, and as you can see, irs.gov and this will take you to directly to the specific page for the situation and you can also go to irs.gov and look up EIN number and it should bring you right here okay so this is what it looks like and we're going to go down to apply now online now now it'll have an alert it's for authorized use only so there you go and uh that you just click that to go away. Now this is a different website than uh, this one right here. And so what it will have will be right here, the irs.gov, but it has WW4 or what have you. But it is the official website for the EIN. So of course read all the information for your own information, uh, but we're not gonna go over that now. We're just gonna go ahead and show you how to go through what buttons you need to press. Okay, so we're gonna do that. Now, what we are looking for is down here, uh, including tax-exempt government organizations, right there. And we are looking for political organization, right there. Continue, continue. And for the a new campaign, local campaign started a new business right that's all we can do and we're going to stop right here on the video but this gives you an idea uh, in indiana a candidate can be the treasurer also so i would have the candidate information for this specific section right here and of course make sure that you're on the right website because you're going to be putting your social security number in there also but uh, just follow the directions, addresses, details, and EIN confirmation. Now, this website is not functional 24-7. It is only really functional during business hours, Monday through Friday. So keep that in mind. Uh, there have been a couple times when I have applied at 10 o'clock at night on a Saturday and it just didn't work. Don't get frustrated. Just realize you have to wait until Monday or whenever to actually apply and get a confirmation letter back. And you will get a confirmation letter in an email. Go ahead and copy it in PDF to your computer or print it out or however you're going to do that. But you need that confirmation for your files and your campaign files. All right. Uh, this is Rhonda Green. Thank you for listening. Talk to you soon.